Shannon, scale of 1 to 10. How much impact do you think he's going to have on the Cowboys this season? I think it's going to be at least eight. And that's at the bare minimum. Eight? At the bare, at the wow. bare, at the bare minimum. Skip. Cowboy hater Shannon Sharp goes to eight? <laughs> at least the bare Woo. minimum. Skip, we talked about this kid. I said, Skip, I'm going to be shocked if this kid is not on somebody's roster in camp. And it took the well, down. When he was in USFL, yeah, we, we yeah, talked yeah. about him numerous times. Just about every week. <laughs> and, and, and so for me, Skip, look. It's hard to see a scenario in which he plays because he, he just made the roster with, with this game alone, so we don't have to worry about him. I thought right. he was going to make it anyway, yeah. but go ahead. But, but he assured himself yeah. now. Okay. Skip, even if, and it's hard for me to believe that in 17 games he won't return at least a punt or a kickoff or a touchdown. But let's just say for the sake of argument that he doesn't. The fact of the matter is he's going to force somebody to shank a punt. He's going to force somebody to shank a kickoff, and now all of a sudden they're going to get the ball at the 40. Or they're going to get exceptional field position on a punt because they're afraid to punt the ball down the field. Now, one thing that you cannot do with any good returner is punt the ball down the middle of the field. you got to punt the ball outside of the numbers and collapse him and force him at the sideline as an extra defender. When you punt the ball or you kick the ball, now, Bones is a special teams coach. Yep. Fossil. I'm thinking John yeah. Bones Fossil. I, I've known him basically his whole life because yeah. his dad was my offensive coordinator in Denver in 93 and 94. Jim. Skip, he's going to say, if you catch this ball coming forward, anything up to five yards deep in the end zone, bring it out. And so when I look at their numbers, the Cowboys was 28th average field position after punt. There was 27th average field position after kickoff. Now, the overall average field position was a little better because of the takeaways. But if you just look at the special teams, let's just say, Skip, they get to the middle of the field, middle of the pack. They get to 15th in field position. Now, your offense doesn't go near, have to go nearly as far. One first down, now you might be in field goal range. You know, three first downs, you got a touchdown. So now he flips the field position battle. So we know that the Cowboys were high in points scored mm -hmm. and in field, and, and yards gained. So now, Skip, they might not be the same yards gained because they're not going to have to go as far thanks to this young man. He's a dynamic, and maybe he's just coming into his own because if I'm not mistaken, he went undrafted in 2019. He did. So <clears throat> now maybe he's just found, so you know what? I belong after did doing what he did in the USFL mm -hmm. because he was special there. He was an MVP. Think about that. The guy was the MVP of the league as a returner. So he gets his opportunity with the Cowboys, and he looked like he's going to cash in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say at the bare minimum, he'll help for eight for the simple fact, even if he doesn't return one, which I believe that he will, is that the field position that he's going to start the Dallas Cowboys in will be worth it. So for me, it's been a long time since the Cowboys have had a returner. Dion, I think if I'm not mistaken, prime time is the, the all-time leading returner with four touchdowns. I'm not saying he's prime time, but he might be their best return man since prime time. He did a little Dion as he crossed the goal line the other night. <laughs> he got a right? great number, that number two. That's special. Uh, that'll work. You know what? I, I'm thinking I might just have to order me a man, number two man. jersey. See, I got me an 11. I got me a new 88. I might need a number two. That's why the Cowboys are number one <laughs> in memorabilia sale, in paraphernalia sale, because the people like you buy 15 jerseys, 14 <laughs> flags and pendants. Shannon Sharp, I have one question for you as the number one Cowboy hater. Yes. Is it possible that you have a hidden agenda here that you're trying to set me up for an even longer fall onto my face again when my Cowboy team craps out on me somewhere in, in December? The At least the playoffs. No, 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 Skip. You, you know that. You know one thing. I don't try to give – I don't give no I, – I call it like I see it when it comes to your Cowboys. I tell you, they tell me, they tell me. But – you watch this kid, and you see how dynamic I, he can be. I know when you are authentic in your take, and this sounds like 1,000% genuine on your yes, part. You're yes. going all the way up to an eight. Yeah, trust me. I was like, damn. Thank like, you. He's really going Thank to help you. the Cowboys. Good, 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 good. I hope so. <laughs> finally, finally, I saw on Saturday night a flash of hope, a ray of light. Little number two got loose, not once, but twice. Mm -hmm. He got loose on a 98-yard kickoff and then whatever it was, an 86-yard punt return. Mm -hmm. And the punt return was even more impressive than the kickoff because he slipped and slid all, all, all around everybody. He has easy speed, and it is slippery speed. Mm -hmm. It is shifty, mm -hmm. slippery speed. Right. He was timed coming out of TCU at 4-3-3 on his pro day. And he does not look like he's running that fast. Right. But he's running fast. Yeah, a great and, start, stop, change of direction. It's tremendous. And that's what you need to be a returner. Okay. So how in the name of Neon Deion Sanders 
did this kid play in five leagues in five years since he left TCU? Mm -hmm. What the heck just happened to KVT, Kevante Turpin? Because I got to tell you, I told you this before when we were looking at the highlights of the USFL. Yeah. He bedeviled my Oklahoma Sooners when he was at TCU. He scared yeah. the unholy hell out of me every time he touched the football because he was a touchdown, broken field touchdown waiting to happen. Yes. If you can get him the ball in space, he is hard to handle. So my point is that I look hard at what just happened. He was convicted of assaulting his girlfriend midway through that 2018, his final season mm -hmm. at TCU. And at that point, the head coach, Gary Patterson, and staff found out that he had had another assault charge previous to that. It was assaulting a family member. Mm -hmm. And they said, good night and good luck to right. little Cavante. Mm -hmm. He was gone at midseason. Right. I guess I'm having to factor that into why he didn't oh, get absolutely. drafted, right? Absolutely, okay. yeah. And I guess I have to factor it in as to why he wound up playing in the European League in Poland. He played in Poland. This little <laughs> yeah. kid played in I Poland. Know, I didn't know Poland had a football. I'm not talking American about Poland football. Springs Water. I'm talking about he played football <laughs> no. in Poland. Yeah, I didn't. You're kidding. <laughs> and then he played in that fan-controlled football league, yeah. which is kind of the, the lowest level. It's almost like for semi-retired players who just want to have fun, mm -hmm. you know, like yeah. Johnny Manziel or T.O. or somebody. Yeah. Let's just have a blast. Right. Let's go out and play. Mm -hmm. He played in that. But then he played in the USFL. And I, I got to tell you, we twice did highlights of him. Big highlights, big highlights of him. Could, could we see what Shannon and I reacted to twice on USFL Mondays? We obviously had that league here on Fox. And this was the first one. Good night. Yeah. Good night. See, get him in space. Is, is that not fake your jock off? Yes. Okay. He's another guy, and, you put him inside the number, again. a little punt return. Another punt return. This was the first ever USFL punt return touchdown and it's it looked pretty much like what i saw on saturday night yeah. he is very special yeah. he's a small guy okay. that, that works well in space so shannon sharp he led the usfl in receiving yards mm -hmm. so as he said after the game on saturday night yes returning is what i do but i want to show you i can be a receiver here too right well if you lead the usfl in receiving yards i got to give him a shot to yeah. be a substantial part of the offense. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay, won't Kellen Moore, Moore just be, like, doing this? Like, yeah. I, 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 I can Skip, think I, I think he's going to be their specialty guy. But I also like the fact that, Skip, now that he's your every everyday ter returner, every, uh, uh, returner, guess what? Now you get to put uh, uh, the other guy in with Zeke and so now you don't have to worry about that. Pollard. So, Pollard. Yeah. so now maybe, Skip, he get more touches, which you want to see him get on the offensive side because he doesn't have to worry about the return because now that's in Turpentine's hand. Okay. So I, I, I like it. I, I like this kid, Skip. Like I said, it's hard for me to believe that over 17 games he won't get at least one punt or kick return. He might get two. But I think the field position that he's going to allow the Cowboys to start at Yep. Because now all of a sudden, Skip, I don't need I don't need three or four first downs. I need two first downs, and I'm in field goal range. Okay. So can you see an occasional jet sweep or a oh, little, yeah, little absolutely. slot yeah. re inside reverse? Oh, a, a jailbreak screen. Yeah. Okay. Oh, or yeah. A, yeah. <laughs> what do you call yeah. it? Bubble screen. We call it jail. But yeah. Oh, absolutely, Skip. I, I, I'm gonna give him have a couple of plays a game. Whew. Because the last I don't want to, you know. But the punt return and kick return. Skip, that's a that's a that's a huge advantage. It's a flip. I get you backed up. Oh, I'm setting the return up. Okay. I'm setting the return. I get you backed up in your end zone. Oh, because I know you don't want to punt it down the middle of the field. You want to try to punt it to the numbers, and there's a great chance you're gonna shank it because you don't want him to get the ball because you correct. backed up and they got a hole. You worried about me blocking it? So absolutely, I'm gonna set the return up. If they backed up and he gets this ball at midfield, before you get your hands on him, he's gonna be at the forty. Saturday night, I sat back and I thought, glory be, maybe my Cowboys did do something during the offseason. Right. I thought Jerry did nothing. But they did go get the USFL <laughs> MVP. It's hard to be the MVP when you're 5'7", 160 pounds, and you don't play quarterback, right? right? Yes. So that was special stuff yes. in, in that right. the, the rebirth of that league, I right? think that's one of the reasons why people are afraid to use him on offense, Skip, because he is so small. And, okay. it, you know, it's, and, but you can get him in space. I mean, you can design play, design ways to get him the ball, put him in space. Well, you don't have to bang. Obviously, you're not trying to run him up inside, but 
the return game, Skip, with space around, if you punt that ball down the middle of the field, you're asking for trouble. You better pin him to the sideline, which means punt the ball outside of the numbers so your team has a chance to collapse him and don't let him reverse field on you. So when they signed him, it was a footnote. And I thought, wait a minute. He was the USFL yeah. MVP. And then all along through camp, I kept reading stories. Wonder if he's going to make the cut and make the roster. And I'm thinking, he was the MVP? Right. What, what are we talking about what? here? And then after the game, well, that cinches it. He's going to make <laughs> the roster. I hope it does. Yeah, well, yeah. He, he could change my life. Yeah, he could bring a, a, a new transfusion <laughs> of energy and urgency to that offense. He, he can bring some voltage they don't have. Where it's it's it, I, like Dak ran out on the field after the punt return. He's right. just playing with right. him and pushing him right. like, you know, out, out of uh, yeah. you know, out of, he he loves it. Right, Skip. And, you, you look. You remember Devin Hester, Dante do. Hall, Tyreek Hill, guys that could flip the field position in the blink of an eye. It changes it. Made it them. It made them so much more dynamic. The kid is is he's electric. So now. The Dallas Cowboys have a secret weapon. Obviously, you want to score points, but he makes your job. It's a lot easier to go 50 yards than it is 80 and 90 to get a touchdown. Trust me. Is it? <laughs> so all of a sudden, I said, I, I don't know. It looks like CD or bust at the receiver. Well, maybe it's not bust. Maybe he can help. Maybe he can he can add a little bit of j just a, a little bit of newness to it, freshness right. to it, and and a little urgency to try some other play calls. Right where I don't know, Michael Gallup's going to be out four, six, eight weeks. I'm not sure, coming off the ACL right. mending. And obviously, they lost no, Amari and they, they lost Cedric, Cedric, Wilson. Cedric Wilson in the slot. Maybe this is it. Maybe right. this, the, I, I keep saying, they're going to have to win it with their defense. Maybe this gives Man, them a chance. He runs two, he have two return for a touchdown. And all of a sudden, you trust him more than Noah Brown and, and Tolbert. <laughs> the kid Absolutely. they took in the third round. Listen, I, I watched Jalen Tolbert all of his snaps the other night. I'm not seeing it. I'm sorry. And I'm 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 holding him to the highest of bars because I'm having to rank him and grade him as a raw third round draft pick right. as a starter. Right. Because he's gonna have to, I thought, blend right, right in as right. a starting player. Well, you, right you take a guy when you when you when you already know what you need. So he was a skip, he was a a a, a feel the need guy. You lose Amari, you lose Cedric Wilson. Okay, Michael Gallup, you know. So you know going in, Skip, this is a need guy. I'm going to need him to play right away. This is not a guy, this is not a project. Oh, we bring him along. We think he has the talent to be good in a year or two. He's going to have to play. He's going to have to be good right now, considering that three of the main guys that you had last year are elsewhere or injured. So he, he, he got to grow up. I mean, sometimes, Skip, you got to be a man of the house before you even become a man. Well, son, you're gonna have to be, you have to be a big time player be, before you're supposed to be a big time player. It is what it is. So usually Jerry cannot help himself and keep himself from crowing over somebody they signed, but he hasn't said a peep about this kid. Right. And I, I'm I'm like shook about it. Maybe it was because of the domestic abuse. Right. Charge. Yeah, well, you well, that's the thing, Skip. They don't you don't want to make it because people now. That you mentioned it, guess what? People gonna go back, they're gonna yeah, start, they're they, they gonna go back and dig it up. And I can't believe the NFL. I can't believe Jerry. Jo it's about to happen. So they try to keep it low profile, keep try to keep it low, keep him flying up under the screen. But I, you can only keep it so low because once he did this right here, Skip, let me see. Man, why this man wasn't in the NFL the last couple of years? What what transpired to keep him out of the league? There, I don't care what anybody say, preseason if you want to. You ain't running back two returns. If it was that easy, there'd be a lot of guys that ran back two returns in correct. a preseason game. And given this team's fairly ugly police blotter history, maybe he just fits right in. I don't know. Because if you look back at the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s Cowboys, uh, they made trouble yeah. off the field. But you know what, Skip? I don't think he's had any other incidents. And for me, an apology or, or a sincere apology, the best apology is change behavior. So... Hopefully, he's learned from those. Hopefully. He's grown. He's gotten the help that he needs. And he spoke about it earlier in camp, and that's what he said. And I'm, I'm going to have to believe him and go with it yep. and root for him. And this is a difference maker. Yes. He definitely has the potential to really, really help your Cowboys. And Thank I you. hate that. Says Shannon Sharp. I hate it still. Whew. <laughs> You ain't finna come out here every week with a number two jersey I on. I just might. So many different fashion choices, Skip.
Which jersey are you going to wear when? Does it happen Monday? Does it happen Friday? Michael Parsons. That's his favorite night? cowboy now. <laughs> Thanks to you. You saw him coming before I did for once. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.